The director of the Division of Gender Relations says this might be the catalyst for standards in entertainment. Charms Gasper is speaking in reference to a proposed concert featuring Jamaican Vibes Cartel and the members of his Portmore crew. Known for explicit, raunchy and sometimes violent lyrics, the DJ has most recently been in the news for sexually explicit pictures he defended as depicting his 2009 hit, Rompin' Shop. Gasper says the state has a responsibility to protect citizens from lyrics and performers that might create social problems it cannot deal with. We have a responsibility as a state to ensure that what we allow to pass as public entertainment is not detrimental to our development as a nation. And um, perhaps the time is right if we don't already have a monitoring body in place to um, evaluate the quality of what passes as, as public entertainment. While the show is already being heavily advertised and promoted, the state has stepped in to decide if it will go on. Press Secretary Danny Lebon says the Labour Minister has assembled an ad hoc committee to decide if the Jamaican DJ and his crew will be granted work permits to perform here. Members of the committee include Lebon, the Principal Information Officer in the GIS, and the PS in the Ministry of Labour. With this particular artist, um, there has been a, a trail of controversy, so to speak. Um, so the committee would meet, uh, weigh everything, and advise the uh, minister appropriately. And um, I think a number of considerations will have to come into factor here. Certainly the issue of morality. We are aware of the you know, situation of crime and the threat and fear of crime in our society. Um, there are certain persons who would go the direction of you know, liberalization in terms of allowing uh, things to go uh, according to the market and uh, to have trust in people's judgments. So, you know, these are two different sides of the coin, so to speak, in terms of the considerations that one needs to look at. Cartel was scheduled to perform here last year but was a no-show, an announcement made hours before the show by the same promoter. He has been banned in a number of countries including Grenada and St. Vincent and most recently in Barbados. Prime Minister David Thompson explained his decision at a specially convened press conference. It is clear that Barbadians feel extremely strongly about the matter. Uh, I am in the elected sense, what you would consider to be the highest representative of the views of the public. And therefore, um, I think that we sat down and came to a sensible position based on what was happening within the society. LeBourne says the committee will take bans from other islands into consideration when making their decision. More and more we're looking in the Caribbean at the whole question of integration and um, consistency in terms of policies and approaches to a number of things. I don't know that St. Lucia would necessarily want to stand alone. The ad hoc committee is expected to meet on Thursday. A decision by the minister who is not expected back on island until the weekend is expected shortly. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.